All right, so we got some information yeah. regarding Justin Ruzik, uh, Justine Ruzak. Now, this is the Australian that was killed over in America by the Muslim police officer. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's a, that I was believe, a while ago. Yeah, was he Muslim or is he just? Uh, no, yeah, I think he was. He was a, um, a cop, Muhammad. A yeah, cop. he's his name's Muhammad. So. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so let's go through the information, and we've also got the information. Like I, I believe we have the video and everything on here. Um, so a U.S. judge has released dramatic video which shows the moment after the Australian woman Justine Rozak. I'm sorry if I'm getting that name wrong. Was shot dead by the police officer. Body cam footage shows convicted policeman Mohammed Noor's reaction and the conversation between him and the other officer after pulling the trigger in Minneapolis on the 15th of June, 2017. So, uh, Nor appears dazed, confused, and anxious. He rubs his head and an officer speaks to him. The officer can be heard telling Nor to keep your mouth shut and, and saying he doesn't have to speak to anyone before he leads him into the police car. Um, in another video, Nor's partner, Mar Matthew Herity, is asked what happened. Herity says the pair was, uh, were spooked before Nor pulled the trigger. Um, the full 911 calls made by Rizrak, originally from Sydney Northern's beaches, have also been revealed. Um, she made two calls because she thought that she could hear sexual assault in an alleged alleyway behind her home. I'm going to play this video because someone just rang my doorbell. So I'm going to play this and go and answer that very quickly. All right. For the haunting phone call made by Justine Ruzchek in the moments before she was shot dead by a Minneapolis police officer have now been made public. The Australian life coach called to report a possible sexual assault just 15 minutes before she was gunned down by 33-year-old Muhammad Noor. Here's some of the call. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Hi. Um, I can hear someone out the back and I... Okay. I'm not sure if she's having sex or being raped. Give me the address. 5024 Washburn Avenue South. Washburn Avenue South. Can you it's behind and there's a lane behind out the back, yep, okay. yep. And I think she just yelled out help, but it's difficult. The sound has been going on for a little while, but I think, I don't think she's enjoying it. Nor was found guilty of third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter. He's now set to be sentenced early next month. What a waste of life, huh? Yeah, so I missed the start of that. Was there anything important in the start, or was it just all... Well, this is oh, I can't hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's a good point, I suppose, isn't it? Um, there's bloody Jehovah's Witnesses, dude. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We're trying to promote Christianity, though, aren't we? For the haunting yeah. phone call made by Justin. <laughs> yeah. Well, just not the Jehovah's Witnesses, though. They're, they're, no one likes them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So... Okay, um... By the okay. way, if you're watching, you can, you can, you know, get involved in the comment, the live chat, you know. It's been pretty quiet in there. Yeah, there's six people watching, um, but yeah. Um, I can hear someone at the back, and I'm not sure if she's having sex or being raped. Uh, there's a lane at the back, and I think she just yelled out, help, she says. Um, a jury in Minneapolis found Noor guilty of third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter early this month. He's behind bars and will be sentenced on the 9th, uh, 7th of June. Justine's finance, Don Diamond, who she met at the Mediterranean retreat, was out of the town on a work trip when his phone rang. He picked up and the court told during the trial... Um, it was revealed Rizak had made the call to Diamond about a minute, a minute and a half before she was fatally shot. The court heard that Rizak's final words to Diamond that night were, OK, the police are here. 
I cannot even still get my arms around what happened, Mr. Diamond told CBS in his final uh, first interview since the trial. I, I said, stay put and call 911. Mr. Diamond told the TV show, six, seven minutes later, I heard, I, I texted her and said, tell me what's going on. At this point, she was already gone. Um, yeah. It's very simple what happened. Someone put an idiot um, on the police force. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know how some white girl knocking on a police window's officer's window is enough to shoot her. Um, regardless of the race or religion of the police officer, I think he was just an absolute idiot. Um, yeah. I mean, you can't... One of the things is it's very simple. You can't give a person without a good constitution a police badge and a mm. gun. Mm. If you're going to be scared, then don't be a police officer. You need to have the wherewithal. You can't be scared. Mm. Otherwise, you're a ticking time bomb. Mm. It's the same thing. You don't put a... I mean, obviously, people are going to be afraid when they go into war, like if they're in the military, but they have to have the constitution to keep their wits about them. Mm. You, you can't, you know, the, yeah. Do, do you think he's going to get off lightly, though? Uh, probably not. Uh, no, he's been, he's been charged, uh, hasn't he? he? He's getting charged on 3rd of June? Yeah. 5th of June? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think he'll get off lightly. Um, th the evidence is so clear that he, he literally murdered someone. 15th. 15th of July, he gets charged. Yeah. We'll, we'll oh, do an no, update no, no, on, no, hang on, on. That. hang on, that's, no, hang on, that's the date it happened, oh, 7th of June, he's been sentenced. Alright, well, we'll do an update on that, I'm sure. Mm. Checkpoint says mm. Sweden is full of shoes, um, I presume he's talking about the, um, the Norse symbols, um, yeah, um, Look, at the end of the day, it's just it's a waste of life. She was a beautiful woman. She tried to do the right thing. And this cop just decided to shoot her because he got spooked. Like, this is absolutely insane. This is, this is why people don't like cops. This is why people go on about police brutality. And, and the weird thing, the, the really thing is, they'll go on about Trayvon Martin and all these sort of guys. But this hardly even touched it. When was the last time you heard the leftists organizing a protest against this sort of stuff? You know, but well, I she guess was, no, she was a white Australian girl. Um, yeah, this, I, this I guess Justine was just the wrong color to you know to bother protesting, right? Like me, identity politics doesn't quite work in this one. So, oof, let's back off this one. You know, we, we don't want to go on about this police officer shooting her because oh, he's the wrong, he's the wrong color to be shooting people. And, you know, and she's the wrong colour to, you know, sit there and get shot, you know, that, you know, and she's probably a, a Nazi, she was probably a white supremacist or some shit, right, left? Like, this is the argument they're probably going to try and make. They probably think it's great because, you know, that's, you know, she she probably um, didn't have children yet, and she might have, so they probably, mm. you know, they're like, yes, you know, she didn't have any kids. Oh, don't even get me started. Have you seen the, the abortion signs that are going around? Mm, no. Someone, uh, three <laughs> girls were sitting on a lawn um, protesting against the abortion bill, and they literally had a sign saying "parasites don't have rights." Oh, really? Yeah. That's that's an awful sign. Holy crap! Mm. I I've, I've shown parasites one or two people at work rights. about it and. That like they were like this is this is just too much. This is like these are people that that are yeah. like pro abortion, and they're just like this is just wrong. This is just really wrong. Like literally calling our fetus a, and, and we're going to talk about that. So we'll probably leave that subject for later. But yeah, um, but as for uh, Justin Kozak, look, I I think this is absolutely insane. I I think this is a waste. Uh, you have abortion advertisements. Uh, I don't think we'll have any advertisements on this video, bro, to be honest. <laughs> um, I, I don't think there's any monetization at all, to be honest. Um, 
But yeah, look at the end of the day, um, it's just a waste of human life. It's it's a waste of just life. Like she tried to do the right thing. She tried to save this other girl that sounds like she was being raped, and the cops shot her because he got spooked. It is absolutely insane. Um, but yeah. But I don't know, guys. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below.